at least four boards to assist in fulfilling their actions, aims, objectives and commitments in accordance with the provisions of the protocol related to mitigation, adaption, reducing emissions from deforestation and technology respectively. A committee for reporting and review to monitor and verify reporting from parties submitted in accordance with Articles 3, 4 and 9 National Action Plans Register of nationally appropriate mitigation actions undertaken by parties not included in Annex B and financial technology and capacity building support activities undertaken by parties included in Annex B and an executive secretary and such staff as shall be necessary for the facility to carry out its functions. Now this is a veiled way of saying they will employ any number of people to assist them in the seizure of assets private or public. The sell-off and the making of ex obscene amounts of money for them to spend and carve up and send off to and give to and whatever they wish to do with any number of people will be employed to help them achieve their goals. That means standing armies people they can employ 500,000 or a million men women to implement these changes. Now that is straight out of Stalin's book of etiquette. We are seeing an implementation of a facility not unlike the Gestapo and the SS as used by Hitler during World War II in the roundup and the execution of over six million people and we are seeing the implementation of a organization who will stop at nothing because they will be given the right to stop at nothing by the signatory countries which includes Australia to carry out and do what they feel necessary and to crush anybody who stands in their road and they keep on referring to using those facilities and using those people and using the powers that they are given to work about achieving their ultimate goal. They keep on referring to their ultimate goal. Now if you read down through the Copenhagen Treaty and find out what the ultimate goal is, you will see their ultimate goal is zero carbon output. Don't forget that this whole proposal was put together by people such as Greenpeace and the World Wildlife Fund and other such people. And I have spoken to these people and many of them I have heard say that they would prefer all human life extinguished. Make no mistake people, Zero carbon means zero carbon. Human life and animal life cannot exist on this planet without creating carbon. We're carbon creatures. Therefore, to achieve zero carbon output, we must be eliminated. Now, it's all in there. It's all in the Copenhagen Treaty. Forget the carbon tax, people. Read the Copenhagen Treaty and see what's in store. The carbon tax is nothing more than just a simple implementation of one of thousands of pieces of legislation that are yet to come. Start reading the Copenhagen Treaty. Start questioning your politicians. Plonk a copy of the Copenhagen Treaty in front of them with the relevant paragraphs highlighted and make that the real issue. You shouldn't be 
protesting in the streets about the carbon tax has nothing. Protest in the streets about the real issue, people. Get out there and protest and hold up copies of the Copenhagen Treaty and demand that Australia withdraws from agreement with it.